So today I'm going to change it up a bit and actually do a little tutorial for you. I want Betaflight configurator here to work on Linux. I've used it for quite some time. I used good old clean flight back in the day on Windows using the dang Zadig drivers and all this stuff. Ugh, it's a pain. So I want this to work on Linux and I know it's a niche and a niche and a niche and a niche. I don't care. I want it to work and I figured out how to make it work so I wanted to share. I don't see too many people online using Linux that are flying but hey if you're out there this is for you. So I have my quad plugged in right now. Um, I'm running an F3 flight controller using Betaflight and hitting connect does nothing. You know, won't connect. So I figured out doing a little bit of uh, just, I don't know, it's probably pretty simple thinking because I'm an idiot. We need to essentially mount the, uh, the USB device, the serial device. So to do that, uh, we'll need to run the most of the commands in, in, in su or sudo. If you're running, oh, you know, first off, hold on, guys. Hey, you know, go download <laughs> the Betaflight configurator first. I'm running Arch Linux, so I'm just using the uh, just the regular Linux.zip here, the 64.zip. Extracted it, threw it on my desktop. I'll take care of the files later. I don't care. There's a deb that will install and put it in your start menu for you or whatever you want to call it, and an RPM do the same thing on those distros. If you run one of those distros, sweet, you're all set. But it's it's actually pretty simple if you're not. Um, just download it, extract it. You got the Betaflight configurator, and you have a dot desktop that leads to uh, leads to some like the opt directory, which is where it should be installed, I suppose. Um, here you go. Do, 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 do. Yep, right there. So not worried about that. I'm just going to double click Betaflight Configurator and it'll run. If it doesn't run, chmod plus x should make it executable. If you're running um, a DE like like uh, KDE here, then you should be able to right click properties and change it in the permissions as well. Anyways, that out of the way, if you can run Betaflight Configurator and you're not connecting, the next step would be to essentially mount that USB device. So we need to use good old LS USB see what's going on now if you you know have no idea what you're looking at here and you don't know which one's the right one no problem unplug your device mine's plugged in right now unplug your device your I mean your uh, your quad your flight controller run the command plug it back in run it again and you can find the only one that's different the only one that's there the change hey you got it so I know this one here is mine it, it also says you are bridge controller which is a, a dead giveaway for you know me and, and the flight controller it's kind of what you're used to seeing if you're used to these flight controllers and what we need is just this part right here so um, if you have the resolution cool just keep this up and we can reference to that in a moment now the rest of the commands need to be in su or sudo if you want to run them sudo on your distro cool I'm just going to sue in on arch here and we need to run mod probe USB serial and then vendor equals the first part of that ID. Oh, I'm on sorry. There it is. It looked <laughs> it's like that's not familiar. Hey, so 10C4 for me. 10C4 and then product equals and for me, it will be EA60. Now, this should be different <laughs> per maybe per flight controller, maybe per board. I, I don't know. I actually have another um, flight controller that's identical. I'll plug it in later and, and see if it makes a difference at some point. Maybe we'll put it in the comments or something. Um, I do know, unfortunately, we have to run these commands every time we unplug the dang thing or reboot. No problem, it's really only two commands we need. So we first ran to figure out what it is. Now this here is the command that's actually going to mount it. So we'll run that, and that's it, it's done. And then we need to give the system permissions to that device, to where it's mounted. But we don't know where it's mounted at yet. So dmessage, pipe, grep 
in quotes, TTY, capital USB, in quote, and then this will tell you what's going on with that. So we can see the CP210X, which correlates here CP210 to CP210.9. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's mounted on USB 0, so TTY USB 0. So now that we have that information, and for me, I've rebooted, I've unplugged it, plugged it back in a bunch of times, it, it's mounted to that. I don't have any other serial devices on mounting, so I'm guessing it's going to continue to mount to that. So chmod 707 slash dev slash TTY USB 0. This will give everything on the system all full permissions to that mount point. There we go. And that's it. Now we can run Betaflight Configurator and we're going to be able to connect. Here we go. Connect. And there we are. We're connected. So I've noticed some issues. Uh, first things first, I can't wiggle my quad around. <laughs> I'm wiggling it around physically right now and it's not moving this. That kind of bothers me because when you're first setting up a new quad or you know maybe redoing your, your stack or something, you want to know if you got it mounted right. But if you have expert mode enabled, I don't even think you actually need to. Um, on the left here in bit of flight, go to your sensors, and you know they're still going to show sensor information. So I suppose you can use that. Yeah, just just be extra careful on your maiden flight. Um, point is, seems to be a little buggy. Um, it works though. Like we can test it. So I'm just going to change my roll P here to 51 I'll, I'll change it back and save it's saved I'll go ahead and disconnect physically unplug it and I'm gonna have to rerun the commands that's fine I'll close this too physically Just a little tap there plug it back in and as I said really the only two commands that matter is this one done and given it permissions done so I have that in a little script but yeah, mainly just to remind me what the commands are. And uh, let's reconnect here. We are connected. P, that is set to 51. Perfect. Set it back to 50. And hit save. There you go. So that's it. This is just a quick tutorial on how to get uh, your quad or Betaflight flight controller connected to the Betaflight configurator in Linux. Hopefully this will help. I'm also going to look into using the uh, OpenTX Companion. There's actually a Linux binary for that as well. I haven't even tried yet. I haven't looked at it. I've been flying this stuff for quite some time and I've been running Linux for even longer, but uh, you know, I've just been using Windows for this junk because that's where all of the tutorials led me when these things were new and quadcopters were the new thing and, and nobody knew what they were doing. Um, now it's quite prevalent and um, everyone seems to have got this stuff figured out, but I haven't really seen any info on running it in Linux, so now we can do that and it seems to work fine, at least for tuning and whatnot, so yeah. Alright, well good luck and uh, have fun out there. Fly safe.